Hola gente, um, this is Victoria and I'm an artist of Everything Cute. So I like doing a lot of different things. I love doing illustrations, I love doing paintings, comics, I like customizing toys, I like anything that's art related. And there is something that has piqued my interest lately and I haven't had a chance to do it yet. And that thing is murals. The idea of having your art in such an impossibly large format where people can walk up to it and take photos and interact with it, it's a really neat concept. So step one was to find a wall. I have spent the last two months in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I'm from, visiting family and friends for the holidays. So I mentioned to them that I was looking for a space to paint, but to paint a mural. Um, I wanted to do one of my cuties or even one of my cats, but I was open to do something else if they had some kind of idea. And one of my friends, uh, Caro, she said to me that she had a wall for me. And I was like, you sure? You sure I can paint it? Are you sure? I've never done this before. I'm really scared that I'm gonna ruin it. Are you sure that I can do this? <laughs> and she had no problem with that. So, um, so first she sent me photos of her wall. I loaded up in Photoshop and I cleared some of the items that were in front of it so I could have the whole space to place my art on the photo to do kind of like a quick mock-up of what it will look like. Caro went on my website and on my Instagram and she picked one of the cuties that I had and she decided for Bubbles, and which is this pink haired girl drinking some bubble tea and she has an another one of my characters, Bubble Kitty, sitting on her shoulder. I place her on the photo and I changed the background a little bit to make it flow a little bit better. And once I got her approval, I started working on fixing the line art and picking the colors. So my illustration had a lot more gradients and different colors. Uh, so I wanted to clear those out and kind of unify the palette so I could use some set colors instead of having to mix a lot of different ones as I'm going. Basically, I wanted to use a limited palette so I could cut the cost on paints. And I also wanted to make sure that everything was easy enough to work on the limited time that I had. And the reason for this was that I actually was supposed to fly back to the US in about five days from the day that we decided to do this painting. So I had to be very practical about it. I knew from past experience in painting large canvases that I could possibly finish this in about eight to 10 hours. If I had the, the line art transferred to the wall in an efficient manner. I also had to account for the fact that it's summer and it was really, really, really hot and really sunny. So I couldn't work as the sun was hitting the wall, the wall directly. So I could only work during the times where the sun was a little bit down up until let's say 9 p.m. So I had to take that into account to know how long I had to work. My next step was to get the liner on the wall. There are different methods to do this. Um, you could use a projector, you could freehand it, you could use a grid transfer system where you copy each one of the squares on your illustration, uh, on a grid that you place on top of your illustration. Uh, you could use carbon copy paper to do a paper transfer, whatever is more comfortable for you to do. I decided to go first with a projector that I was able to borrow and I thought that that would be the fastest way to get the illustration exactly how I want it on the wall. And in case that didn't work out, because there could always be some technical issues, I also printed out the image in full size so I could do a carbon paper transfer if it needed be. The next day we went to buy the paints. I ended up using acrylic latex paints and I used the interior style of paints. Um, the exterior paint didn't have as many colors as I needed um, and they couldn't mix them right there and there. And even though they are not exterior paints, interior acrylic latex is still used in murals because they still have some elements resistance, they will resist rain and sunlight because at the end of the day they are acrylic paints. So I looked through the color chart, I picked the colors, machined all the mixing, 
and we just went home with all of our colors ready to go. So this is mural day number one. So I arrived at my friend's house with a bunch of bags. I had the paint, brushes, rollers, sponge, gloves, painter's tape, paper palettes, printout, carbon paper, projector, my laptop, the camera, the tripod, and cable extensions. I really wanted to be well prepared in case that I needed to do anything. So after checking that the space was clear and the wall was ready to go, the first thing uh, we did was set up the projector. At first I thought it wasn't going to work out because we didn't have enough space to put the projector far back enough to be able to project the whole image, but what I ended up doing was to zoom in on her face because that is the most important part that I wanted to make sure that the transfer was perfect. And the rest I kind of freehanded and used a little bit of my paper transfer to make sure I did everything correctly. Transferring line art with a projector is so easy and so quick. I think it took me an hour to an hour and a half to do everything. With the line art done, it was time to start painting. My main goal for this day was to paint the main areas of colors, making sure that the paint covered well, that I, if I needed to do a second coating, I would have enough time to do so and to make sure that the colors were all working together. So day one was over. Uh, I painted for about five hours. Uh, I even had to use my phone to illuminate uh, some of the areas so I could paint at night because we didn't have enough lights. And everything worked out fine. All the color areas were covered, so we let it dry overnight. And on the next day, I would just do the liner. So day two, I really thought I would be way quicker than I was on this day. I thought I only needed to do line art, that it would be quick. But I actually kind of started to freak out. You see, I had been looking at the painting for way too many hours um, without the line art. And when I started adding those darker colors that I, that I picked for it, I'm like, 
Oh no. <laughs> oh no, why did I do why did I do that? Um I really thought that I was starting to ruin it. Um all this time I'm asking my friends, do you think it looks fine? Uh, I I hope it's okay. Um but once I did the liner for Bubble Kitty, I was like, okay, it's working out, it looks fine. Let's keep going. It's gonna be done soon. that I would finish it a little bit quicker than I did but I didn't want to rush it at all because I'm gonna be on my friend's wall so I wanted to make sure that I did a good job so in the end it was fine uh, I ended up running in like again painting in the at the night in night 
um, with the phone illuminating the mural, but it's all okay. It was done and I was really happy with it. So all in all, it was a great experience. Uh, I really want to thank Caro and her sister Vale for giving me the wall and for helping me with all the preparations and filming and taking photos for me. Um, it was so much fun and I am really happy with how it turned out. I absolutely love seeing my design in such a large scale and I really want to do more murals. So I really hope that I will have more opportunities in the future to do more murals. Um, I really want to do one in more of a public setting where people can come up and discover it and take photos with it. I really think that that will be amazing. So do you like how it turned out? Um, are you interested in murals? Would you like to paint one yourself? Do you already do? Let's have a chat in the comments. I have more photos and videos about it on my Instagram, at Shorimaggio, so be sure to check that out. I want to thank my patrons for always supporting me in making art, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.